can order? Yeah, I'd like to order for delivery, please. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to do that cool glitch effect that you just saw in the intro. It's very similar to the Peter McKinnon uh, teleport effect that I did about a couple months ago. There are a few different effects that we're obviously gonna have to add to this glitch effect, but it's really easy and I'm gonna walk you guys through it. The reason why I like this effect so much is because you can use it in a lot of different scenarios. You can use it for vlogs, you can use it for any type of video that you kinda wanna help push that story along or just keep the viewer a little bit more entertained while they're watching your videos. If you guys are new here, my name is Jared Majors. I post filmmaking and editing tutorials every single week. If you guys want to learn anything about filmmaking or editing, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification. All right, let's jump right into it. All right guys, so now that we're in Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm gonna go over the clips that we're gonna be working with. So the first clip is just me sitting here, uh, getting up from the table. The next clip is me standing here, just messing with my phone. And then the third clip is me sitting on the couch. And then the fourth clip that we have here is actually a blank slate or just a static shot of the room. All of these shots were shot on a tripod so that they cohesively blend when we are done. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do here is um, we're gonna go to the end of this clip and we're gonna wanna cut away about seven frames of the end of that clip. So here we're just gonna go down seven frames and we're just gonna cut that off. That's the part we're gonna be working with to blend us into the next scene. Now let's drag the next clip over and we're gonna do the same exact thing. Go to the end of that clip and then go seven frames to the right this time. And that's about right and then cut it. And now what we're gonna do is pretty simple. Let me just open this up really quick. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna click on that frame, the, fr the end of that clip, the seven frames, we're gonna be working with that and we're going to mask it out. So we're gonna go to the left under opacity, grab the pen tool, and we're gonna mask this out really quick. I'm gonna speed it up so you guys don't have to sit through it. All right, and then that's it. So now you can see that I did a really rough mask here because I'm actually getting up from that scene. This one is going to be a little bit different. We're gonna do this one a little bit more clean since I'm just standing there. I don't have to do a mask path. So let's just zoom in a little bit and uh, we're gonna do the same exact thing. So we're gonna mask it out. All right, and that's it. Now you guys can see that I'm just masked out right there and it's just a black background. And the same thing for the other clip. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab all those clips and we're gonna move them up one layer. We're gonna do the same thing with this other clip and then we are gonna come over here and we're gonna drag that blank slate or static shot right underneath all those clips. So now if I go back over here, you'll see that the background is filled in now and uh, it, looks, it looks pretty much normal. There is a little bit of shadows getting messed up over there, but that won't matter once we add the effect. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut every other frame. So right here, one frame, I'm gonna go over two frames, uh, another two frames, and then one frame and one frame. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna delete every other one. So it kind of looks like we're just popping in and out of the scene kind of like a glitch. So here you'll see, I'm just popping in and out. And now we still have to do the same thing to the other side. So let's do that really quick. All right, and this is what it should look like so far. So I'm kind of just popping from one side to the other. It's a little bit more clean and smooth, but we're not there yet. So now we're gonna come over to the left under effects and we're gonna type in VR chromatic aberrations. It should be like the second one under there after typing VR and we're gonna take that effect and we're gonna put it on each one of those cuts that we made, just like this. And now if we zoom out, you're gonna see uh, how it looks. So the effect pretty much just makes it look like RGB, so you see red on the left and blue on the right, a little bit of yellow green in the middle. It kind of gives it that, you know, glitchy effect. It looks really awesome and I absolutely love this effect. All right, so this is what it looks like right now. 
and then now we have to do the same thing to the end of that clip to go into the next one so right now i'm just going to trim down that clip a little bit and i'm just going to copy and paste the front of that clip that i already have masked out to the end of this one since i'm just standing there and it's going to look exactly the same anyways so there it is save me the work of masking out myself all over again and then now i'm going to drag the third clip over and we're going to have to do the same thing to the beginning of this clip how many times did I say clip in this video? I don't know, but probably about a thousand. All right, so we're gonna go seven frames to the right and we are going to cut. So let's just do a quick cut right there and then I'm gonna have to mask myself out. Let's see, just come over to the left and then, yeah, I'm gonna speed this up for you guys so you guys don't have to sit through this. Um, but yeah, just mask yourself out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, because we're gonna be adding effects to this anyways. If you are doing this for a client, definitely do your best to mask it out and do it perfectly. Uh, but since we're just doing this for the tutorial, it's totally fine. Um, you're gonna add effects to it anyways, and you won't really be able to tell, and it could just add to the glitch effect. Now I'm cutting away uh, the, the seven clips, every other one, now I'm gonna delete them and do the same exact thing I did to all the other clips. We're gonna come to the left, grab the VR, and put it on all those new clips that we just made. And now it should be finished. This is what it should look like, guys. If you guys enjoyed that tutorial, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification. You guys can also help support the channel by going down to the first link in the description. I just wanna say shout out to all the subscribers and I will see you guys next week. I'm out. Woo!